Well, welcome back to the Scott Learning Center for the third part of our conversation about, about our 2021 corn crop planting and planting. Uh, we've talked about several of the things that are important as considerations. Now I want to show you some of the implications that has on yield directly and have a little deeper conversation about some of the subtle adjustments we can make when we get ready to plant the crop. We've already talked about population. This is highly hybrid dependent. It's something you need to confer with your local reps about. And anybody that, that sells you seed and make sure you understand the implications of number one, the, the investment in seed and the, the yield implications of that for the individual products versus the standability characteristics of that product. So we'll be happy to try to help you with that. Drop us a note if, if we can help at all. But now I want to talk a little more about some of the agronomic specifics that, that we've demonstrated over the years here around the Learning Center. Planting depth is one of those things that can only be established at planting. And we have to be kind of careful about how we do this, but planting depth has a lot of agronomic influence in corn crops. And, and it is something that can only be determined with settings of the planter at planting. And our our guidance here typically is we need to be between an inch and three quarters and two inches deep all the time consistently. So if you have uh, planters and, and planting equipment that, that runs particularly real fast through the field, it drafts out of the ground, and you set the planter a, a, an inch and three quarters and a bunch of it winds up planted shallow because it drafted, those are considerations to, to make for your individual case in the field. But we need to be at, at that about, about that depth consistently through the field. There are several implications to planting depth that I think are worthy of note. Over the years, I just pulled out a few snippets of, of the data. Over the years, we have looked into this any number of ways, evaluated seed firmers and all sorts of equipment. But when you think about what planting depth does for corn, number one, it, it, it determines rooting depth and, and the rooting characteristics of the plant on some level. There's also an impact on bird predation. And this is a test that we did in 2013. And you see that the blackbirds in this particular case demolished this shallow planted corn. And where we planted deeper, particularly where we used a firmer and got good seed to soil contact, um, we established and maintained a, a pretty good crop because if the, if the seed and, and the, all the structure is deep enough in the ground that they only break the top out, the plants generally come back and make a crop. And that shows in the yield data also. This is the data from that, that test I showed, that picture came from. And you see where we planted an inch and a half deep, uh, it averaged, I don't know, about 120 bushels an acre. Where we were two and a quarter or three inches deep, we were well over 200. I would, up, would point out in this conversation, though, you see that the three inch deep there was, I would say numerically at least, reduced versus the two and a quarter. The primary reason for that is we pushed a few of them too deep and they didn't survive as well. So if you're having to plant deeper to chase moisture or some other reason that you, you feel like you need to do that, or your beds wash or whatever, uh, just be aware you might need to plant a little bit more to overcome some of that, that adversity. The other, <clears throat> another test that we did with planting depth over the years or have done with planting depth over the years was a rather extreme case. And in this case, we planted an inch and a quarter versus two and three quarters deep. And two and three quarters deep is, is very uncomfortable, particularly to a, an old cotton person like myself. But this was in the absence of birds. And you see here across the two products we evaluated and, and they're, uh, I, I, honestly, I don't recall exactly what they were, but there was a 13 bushel advantage to planting deeper in the absence of birds. That's the agronomic gain that we observed in this trial across these products just from being deeper. That's better rooting, better standability, better uptake of water and fertilizer and all those things. So just keep that in mind. And I realize we have to make a sacrifice there somewhere between getting a stand and all the other agronomic things that, that this influences. But it's one of those things you need to carefully consider at planting time. So the last thing I want to talk about is planting uniformity and the implications that that has on all the things in the, in the ability of the corn plant to compensate or not compensate for missing plants. We have done this to the extreme over the years, and I'll show you a few examples of some of the data we've generated. We, we have gone out and we intend to, to reproduce some of this this year 
uh, with newer products uh, based on grower demand for the data. But we have gone out and intentionally misplanted and documented places where we had skips and doubles. This is uh, where we have a skip and a double is typically where a seed bounces in a seed tube and they wind up catching each other on the way down. So you wind up with a missing plant or you have a double or you will have a true skip. We've gone out over this time and, and documented a bunch of these, uh, either four, five, or six plant samples. And when you look at this, you, you will see, and, and I don't worry about so much about all the, the units because we, we took these samples and hand shelled them and weighed them. And if you look down this table, you will see the five uniformly planted plants. Of course, they were the check. They made 100% of the yield potential. Where I had a double and a skip, I didn't lose very much. But that third line down where I was actually missing a plant, I was missing 20% of the plants because it's one out of five, and I'm missing 20% of the yield. But where I had a double, I actually made a little bit more yield. So if, if you're having to adjust planters so that, that they plant as uniformly as possible and your choice is to either have a skip or a double, have a double because you can't compensate for a skip. And, and this was true across the range of the products we tested, whether they were fixed ear hybrids or flex ear hybrids. They both responded similarly, and we're going to update this in 2021 uh, with some newer products. So one, when we carried this to the extreme also, because I, I've had a few sort of curious questions about uh, skip row corn, believe it or not, missing rows and, and trying to sync up row configurations with cotton systems that, that were skip row, that kind of thing. Uh, and, I, and I really don't think that's a very good idea, but we went out and evaluated mechanical errors that, that ultimately happened on some level to everyone in cornfields. So we'd leave out entire missing rows or we would leave out one twin out of a pass and evaluate whether or not the corn hybrids could compensate for that missing row. And it really looked a lot like the, the errors you would see where one twin falls off the side of a bed or, or the, it's planted shallow and the blackbirds maybe pull it all up and eat it, that kind of thing. Our, our interest was, can we compensate for that when it happens? Because our data in soybean says we can. In corn, when you look at it, this is the data that was generated from the trial. You see that in the case where we had a, a missing row or two separated twins out of a four row pass missing, you had 25% of the plants missing, you're missing 25% of the yield. In the orange bar, that was 12.5% of the plants because it was one twin out of an eight row or a four row pass which had eight twin rows in it. I'm missing 10% of the yield. That's 12.5% of the plants. So they didn't compensate much, if at all. So when, the establishment of the corn crop early, as uniformly as possible, is very important. It's one of those things we only have influence over at planting because the only way to establish the uniformity that we actually need in the field after planting is to start over. So with that, I'll stop for today. I uh, thank you for listening. I thank you for all your support over the years. We'll be here at the Learning Center if we can help. Feel free to drop us an email or, or give us a call. Thanks.